Hey, hey guys, today we're going in V&C Collectibles in Brandon, Florida, right near Tampa, just outside of Tampa, Something at Lake Slayer. Awesome. And yeah, we're gonna check this store out. Pretty cool stuff in here. You know, these guys are really, really cool. I highly recommend stopping in and saying hello. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at what they have inside. They got everything from record albums to video games to retro toys, cards, trading cards, like just all kinds of stuff. So it's really worth taking a look. No matter what you're into, you're probably going to find something here that will interest you. VNC Collectibles stands for Vintage and Current Collectibles. Check them out if you're ever in the Tampa area. Great store. I'm going to stop talking here, and you guys can just sit back, relax, grab some popcorn to drink. There's my dad. You might see my dad and my brother wandering around in this video. And, uh... Plus a couple other customers that happen to be there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some music on. You guys sit back, relax, listen to this great YouTube free music and <laughs> and, and uh, watch, look at some toys. Yeah, that's it. Look at some toys. All right. See you. Oh, there's loot at the at the end. At the end of the video, I got loot. I bought stuff. So we'll check out what I bought here at the end of the video. So stay tuned. All right, see ya.
lots of really good Star Wars. Hey guys again, how you doing? We're coming up to the end here, but um, I really liked all these Star Wars carded from the 90s. If this store were closer to me, I'd be buying so many of these. <laughs> they were all like five, six, seven dollars. It was such good prices. Really cool stuff here. All right, guys, let's get on to the loot. What oh what did I pick up from the VNC collectible store? VNC collectibles, vintage and modern. Hooked me up with some nice figures. Believe it or not, all this stuff was just five zero fifty dollars from VNC. For everything you see here on this table, three carded figures and a vintage original Wind Raider in total was five zero fifty dollars even. That's including the tax and everything. Just gave her a fifty dollar cash and walked out the door. It was awesome. Fantastic. Great store. Love it. Love it. It was really cool. Great visit. Had a great time there. The Wind Raider, the original. This little thing can come off and it still works. Yes. And you wind it back up. And then you can put this back on. There we go. Cool. We got our wings here. That move, a little crack in this one, but I'll live through it. I'm okay with that. You know, I'm, the wings are the easiest thing to find. So if I really want to, I can get different wings. But the, the, the trouble I was having was finding a body with some good stickers on it because they're they're always my I, I see these bodies cracked in half and broken all the time and this winch won't work this will be missing it's it's so i i grabbed this because it was so it was such a good price basically i have found just the shell with no winch the broken thing no wings and no back foil so it's just a green body with no stickers on it for the price that I paid for this whole thing. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, this has to come home with me. I have been, I have tried two or three times for a Wind Raider and not got it. And I'm, so I'm so happy to have one now. I really am. This is incredible for me. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. I like it. The, the original Wind Raider. Very happy with this pickup. We were looking at that tomahawk. Mark and I, Mark told me if the tomahawk was, um, you know, in a price that I could feel comfortable with, it had to come home with me. That was on, that was high on the list as far as I have to have the tomahawk. So, but he didn't want to sell it. So we didn't get a tomahawk from G.I. Joe. But I've been tasked by my brother to find a tomahawk and get one and make a video about it. Because he remembers that as a kid. I had the tomahawk. We played with it to death. He loved that vehicle. He thought it was cool. So we're going to try and get it again. So since there's no tomahawk, it went to the Wind Raider. Star Wars Power of the Force. Comtech figures. Now figures talk. Luke Skywalker with T16 Skyhopper model. Now I, I don't I don't have this one in my collection, and I think it's a really good Luke Skywalker. I really like the idea that he comes with the T16 that he flew around in the in the repair bay at his home. Really cool. There he is playing with it there. So I thought that was a really cool thing, you know. Great card back. Showing off his features, a little blur about Luke, stuff about the ComTech, a few other figures and different play sets and things you can get, or I guess three packs you could get. So, I mean, this this is when Cardback still had something good on the back of them. That was cool. And then we have a version of Qui-Gon Jinn, which I don't have yet. I have the one with his arm up in the air and he looks goofy and weird. 
So this is a bet this is the better Qui-Gon Jinn of the two that came out during this time period. So good to have this one. The all these carded figures are between five and six dollars at um VNC collectibles. So I, it was it was very tempting to go hog wild and just get a bunch of episode one figures, but I couldn't remember <laughs> quite and quite frankly, I couldn't remember what uh what I had and what I didn't have, and I knew I didn't have that Qui-Gon, but I all the of the figures they had, I, I believe I have all those. So I gotta write down lists. So I gotta make lists so when I'm out of town I can I can figure this stuff out and buy what I need because I, I can't easily go back there, you know. Uh got this Borg from them. I've I don't recall this Borg. This Borg has a bluish tint to him. And the ones that I have are not like Where's, um, here's Locutus. See, they don't have that. They're more silver and black and I guess there's kind of a navy or slate gray, whatever they call it. But this is more of a blue slate gray. And, uh, so I, I, I wanted to get them because I don't, I don't think I have this one. I don't, I don't remember these colors. The Star Trek Interstellar Action Series. And it has a launcher on its arm, which I don't... None of the other ones had a launcher like that. Spring-firing cybernetic arm. And he's got an accessory pack with a stand in the back there. It says there are um, laser scanner entity hoses. Cyborg action base. Yeah. And we had a whole bunch of figures. We can get Sheriff Wharf, Picard as Galen, LaForge from All Good Things, Beverly from the 1940s, The Traveler, Interstellar Action Borg. So I've, I've seen some of this series, but I guess I just never saw the Borg one before. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm glad I got them. Deep Space Nine, we have a Hunter of Tosk. Ooh, Grand Nagus, I want him. Classic Trek, there's Chapel, Pike, and Janice. Good to get those. Yeah. I like my Playmates Star Trek, and uh, always happy to have another one enter the collection, so that's cool. Really nice. Awesome. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm John. I'm out of here. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Stay awesome out there, everyone. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.